Are you a vending machine owner and never had to deal with this? You're not the only one. This your boy Taz. We about to go in here and unplug this drainage hose. We got a little leaking going on right now. We want to eliminate that. We're going to go in here and unplug this drainage hose and I'm going to show y'all how to do it. So once you find where the water is leaking, you're going to want to unscrew the four screws in front of the evaporator coil. You got four screws directly in front of it, and right below it, you got another four screws holding in the, bra the uh, bracket that's holding the refrigeration unit in place. Remove those four screws, one being the big one that has a bolt on the end, and other being four little screws. Unscrew those and you'll be able to remove the bracket that's holding the refrigeration unit in place, both of them, the one on the front and the one on the side. Once you have done this, you'll be able to pull the machine, go to the right of the refrigeration unit and disconnect the refrigeration unit cables and the temp sensor cables. I had to think about what cables those was. So once you disconnect those, you're gonna to wanna to pull out the whole refrigeration unit. Make sure that if there's a mat or anything in front of the machine, you remove that, put down your own tiles. We did not do that in this video and we ended up soaking the rug that was in front of it. But it's gonna be a lot of water under the refrigeration unit. So make sure you put your own tile down. Once you've done that, you'll be able, you'll be able to locate the four other screws on top of the refrigeration unit. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew those four, and then you got another four that's located on the left side of the refrigeration unit. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew those too. Once you unscrew those, the top of the refrigeration unit should come off, and you will have your drain pan exposed and your evaporator coil is exposed. There's two screws holding down their evaporator coil in the back. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew those and lift up the coil so you can work with what you got up under the uh, pan. We was using tools, which the drain hose is directly in the middle of the pan. We used tools and other items we had to kind of shake any debris that was in there down. We were not able to, so we had to remove the pan. In this scenario, uh, my friend Brandon uh, offered to suck the hose and was able to pull up a big clump of rust that clogged the entire hose, which is exactly why we could not drain any water while we was having a leak. So he pulled that out with the little tool we had. He checked it again by blowing on it, blowing through, making sure that any debris was removed. Once that was done, the uh, the clog was fixed. We was able to put the hose back in place, set the pan back on top of it. I do not recommend doing what we did. Make sure you got a hanger, some type of tool that could pull that out. Cause that was the last resort. I appreciate him doing that, but I do not recommend you guys do that. So once you've done that, you can put your machine back together, clean up any mess you made, put your pan back down, put the evaporator coils back down, put all your screws back in place, set the machine back, set, set the refrigeration unit back in the machine. And once you've done this, you saved yourself a couple hundred dollars. You unclogged your drain hose yourself. Didn't have to call anybody out there. I appreciate the time that y'all gave us for watching and supporting the video. I'm going to be dropping more for y'all entrepreneurs who got machines and problems y'all running too. Appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time.